Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Model 3 price cuts puts new car cheaper than some used Model 3 cars. Tesla in autopilot safely avoids accident in Louisiana. Tesla inviting people to hack into its cars for $600,000 PWN2 own prize. And Tesla hardware 4 to reduce forward facing cameras to 2 and add fan, beat pillar camera to get new heating device. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. The Tesla Model 3 price cuts have put the cost of a new base Tesla Model 3 lower than that of some used Tesla Model 3 in some cities. The Model 3 has already become cheaper to buy than ever before in the US due to the recent price cuts. The recent price cuts enabled buyers to purchase a base Model 3 for $43,990, and with the EV tax credit, that price is further reduced. For those living in certain states or cities, the prices can be even further reduced with grants or EV incentives, as seen in the tweet by Ash Martian here. In her tweet, Ash Martian compared a new base Tesla Model 3 that would cost $36,500 with the $7,500 EV tax credit to that of a 2020 base Model 3, priced to $38,600. If we subtract $7,500 from the original price of $43,990, we actually get $36,490, of which some may round up to $36,500. Used Tesla Model 3 cars don't qualify for the $4,000 rebate, unless the price goes below $25,000. Tesla sells both used and new vehicles on its website, and the prices vary by zip code and availability. Some used base Tesla Model 3 cars are either lower than the new or of a similar price range, while the new base Tesla Model 3 cars are lower than some used Model 3 of all variants. For example, in New Orleans, Louisiana, the lowest price for a used Model 3 is in the $33,000 range, with the highest price at this time being $59,800 for a used 2022 Model 3 long range with dual motors and all-wheel drive. In Austin, Texas, where Tesla is now headquartered, you can get a used Tesla Model 3 with prices as high as $57,300 for a 2022 Tesla Model 3 Performance dual motor all-wheel drive. The lowest prices for used Tesla Model 3 in Austin were in the $35,000 and $36,000 ranges for 2019 base Model 3. In Fremont, California, the lowest priced used Tesla Model 3 is a standard range with rear wheel drive for $35,600 and another 2019 base Model 3 for $37,600, which is higher than the cost of a new Tesla Model 3 with the EV tax incentive. The EV tax incentives will not only help Americans be able to afford an EV, but with Tesla's price cuts, Americans will own one of the safest cars the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration has ever tested. Moving to the next update, Tesla in autopilot safely avoids accident in Louisiana. A Tesla Model 3 owner is thanking Tesla's autopilot for slowing down and safely avoiding an accident along I-10 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana recently. Model 3 owner William Sellers was driving with the software engaged when unexpectedly a driver pulled out directly in front of him. FSD Beta reacted well and safely slowed, avoiding an accident, William tweeted. Based on the dashcam footage of the incident he shared, a car that was parked on the shoulder of the highway suddenly moved into William's lane. The advanced software quickly reacted and slowed down. I was going 65 on the highway when he pulled out right in front of me, William told Teslarati over the phone, adding that FSD beta reacted quickly and safely. In September 2022, a Tesla owner with FSD beta engaged said that he was saved from a head-on collision by the software. In 2021, we reported on another example of the software saving the life of a few FSD beta testers. In 2022, Tesla's FSD beta grew around 475% year-over-year, with 78% of that since the third quarter of last year. As of December 29, 2022, 
Tesla's FSD beta program had a total of 285,000 users. Tesla's FSD beta is much more advanced than its autopilot driver assistance system, and Tesla has been releasing quarterly vehicle safety reports for autopilot for the past few years. The results suggest that using autopilot, the lesser advanced version compared with FSD beta, makes driving significantly safer. In the latest report, which shows data for the third quarter of 2022, Tesla found that vehicles with autopilot engaged registered one crash for every 6.26 million miles driven. For drivers who weren't using autopilot in the same period, Tesla registered one crash for every 1.71 million miles driven. Although autopilot and FSD are two levels of Tesla's technology, the data from the company's vehicle report suggests that it is safer to drive with the technology engaged than it is without. In the case of William Sellers, it proved to avoid a potential accident. Moving to the next update, Tesla inviting people to hack into its cars for $600,000 PWN2 own prize. Tesla has collaborated once again with PWN2 own to take part in their hacking contest. The target is Tesla cars with $600,000 up for grabs. If you are a hacker, you may be closer to a massive payday than you realize. Tesla is inviting hackers to write exploits that can gain arbitrary code execution in its car systems. The company is offering up to $600,000 prize and a brand new Tesla as prizes. Tesla has collaborated with PWN2 own on such contests before. It gave out a Model 3 to a duo of researchers that successfully exploited its car system in 2019. Hackers won a Tesla Model 3 and over $350,000 in 2020 and $75,000 with Model 3 exploits last year. However, this year's contest edition raises the stakes significantly in both prizes and what is expected of the participants. Hackers can target the Model 3 or the Model S sedan. Tesla and PWN2 own want them to exploit the tuner, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or modem components. The hackers must gain access to the vehicle's infotainment system and run their code against VCSEC, Gateway, or Autopilot. PWN2 own said, the prizes are the largest in its history. However, contestants should not expect an easy ride, as taking over the vehicle is a tough task. Moving to the last update, Tesla Hardware 4 to reduce forward-facing cameras to 2 and add fan, B-pillar camera to get new heating device. Based on documents submitted to the Federal Communications Commission FCC, Tesla is getting ready to announce a new high-resolution radar unit as soon as next week that would presumably form part of their next-generation self-driving computer, referred to as Hardware 4 or Autopilot 4. While we wait for that announcement, information has leaked from China, giving us more insights into some of the camera changes we can expect with Hardware 4. According to an internal document from Giga Shanghai shared on Twitter by Chris Zheng, the forward-facing camera will be seeing a change from its current three-camera configuration down to two cameras. According to Zheng, this is because of the new camera's pixel density and field of view. We have previously reported that Hardware 4 will use 5 megapixel cameras, which is a significant jump from the current 1.2 megapixels. In addition, it is revealed that all other cameras have remained the same, and it appears no new cameras, like one on the front bumper, have been added. The document also included a pair of images showing the new camera housing. According to a translation of the document, it says the following. The front 3i camera is changed to a binocular autopilot 4 camera. Beat pillar, tailgate, inner rearview mirror cover, side repeater cameras are all switched to autopilot 4 cameras. Another change for the forward-facing camera is that it now has a fan. The document does not detail the intended use of the fan and whether it is to keep the cameras cool or to prevent the windshield in front of the cameras from fogging up. Finally, along with being upgraded to autopilot 4 cameras, the B pillar is also getting a new heating device. This device will presumably help the camera from being obscured when the B pillar fogs up, something which frequently happens now, particularly in colder weather. 
The shape of hole surrounding the camera has also been changed from an oblong shape to a more circular shape, according to the images included on the document. Unfortunately the document does not reveal when we can expect to see either an announcement of Hardware 4 or Autopilot 4, or when it will be added to production lines. The only dates included in it are June 10, July 30, and August 10, 2022, under the column labeled Valid From, suggesting Tesla could have been testing this new setup since these dates. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.